Hey, welcome back to Trust the Rust. This is day two up here in Linden, Washington of the spring pool. Uh, we're about to uh, get ready to get started. We're gonna start with Big Bertha and the fire truck. Uh, driver's meeting just got over. Um, about ready to go, it's kind of cool and cloudy. And getting a little sprinkles here and there. It's not gonna stop us today. We won't get enough rain. So uh, stay tuned and we're about ready to get started. Also, we're added classes and one of them is going to be team pulling. And you see how that works out here in a little bit. Hang tight. Well, as you can see today, the stands aren't nearly as full. Uh, they advertise for this pull for Saturday with all the hot rods and uh, pro mod trucks, the diesels, the smoker tractors. That's what they advertise for Saturday, not necessarily the, today. So a lot of the guys that were here yesterday from out of town, they've gone home. Uh, back to Oregon, Eastern Washington, wherever they came from. And, uh, oh, hey, we're getting started. Here comes Big Bertha. putting on a good show all right uh, we're gonna start the uh, reverse order today of uh, tractors first trucks later we're gonna do the trucks then the modified stuff first uh, they have a long ways to go home so the reverse order a little bit so trucks first then tandem pulling and then uh, then we'll start the tractors Hook for the Yoda. I believe he's like a 4,500 pound class and he's the only one in it. So, again, we don't have full classes, but uh, it doesn't matter. If we don't have a full class, you can still pull them wherever you want. It's all about having fun. a nice hook for the fire truck so uh, we've had a lot of help this year with uh, promoting the tractor pull truck pull a lot of advertising going on uh, a lot of work is done by D&D &D custom their diesel shop and heavy equipment shop also do uh, hydraulics uh, they built Big Bertha as old spray truck dusting truck for uh, crops uh, the fire truck that was built in the last two weeks. They had two fire trucks. Uh, one had a red cab, different years. They pulled the red cab off. They put the yellow cab on the red cab chassis. All in two weeks, volunteer help, after hours, drinking beer, having a good time with uh, their buddies. Um, but D&D Custom Services also did a lot of work on our sled sitting over there. It's got new uh, steer axles on it. I did work to the skid plate. Um, all in all, they did a lot of work, so really appreciate you guys. Dan Dykstra, thank you, and uh, let's see who's up next. Street, stock, uh, street class truck goes 269 feet.
okay they had the sled tight said a little tight but they got that truck stop at 169 feet uh, we're about to find out if they're gonna bring him back and loosen up the sled or if they're gonna let it stand Seven goes 291 feet. Okay, Ford goes 221 feet. And for further clarification, the hotter ones are on the blue sled, the street type ones are on the black sled. So if you, I guess I'm saying that if you do know pulling, we don't have the same class pulling on two different sleds, because that would never work to make it even or fair for everybody. So these are two separate classes on two separate sleds. Dodge Dooley goes 298 feet. This is a close class. Top three are right within about three feet of each other. Okay, we're gonna switch it up on the blue sled. We're gonna switch to, uh, I believe, but something like a pro stock tracker. You got the John Deere 4430 on the blue sled coming. And then on the black sled, we're going to uh, some alcohol burning big block. Big block Ford power and alcohol. His rear end wasn't turning. Front front axle's going, but rear end doing nothing. Hopefully he can get that figured out and come back and make the hook. Okay, looks like we're done with the hot stuff. Uh, those of those those of them that want to go home, they're done. They can go home now. Um, Oh, not that our antique guys don't travel. I mean, I travel five, six hours to go to, four to six hours to go to Pole, and there's people in eastern Washington that travel the same distance here, or they come up from Oregon, so it's not just, uh, not just the hot rod guys. We all travel. Anyway, 
Um, I don't know if you can see the forklift in the background. They've got the team pulling bar set up. Uh, and you'll, if you haven't seen that, it is two tractors hooked to one bar that hooks to the sled and you pull as a team. And the competition is your team against another team. And combined weights, you don't have to have two tractors that weigh the same. You just need to be like, say, combined weight of 10,000 pounds between the two of you. Um, that's kind of how that works. So anyway, they're getting set up. Tractors get out on the track and uh, we'll uh, watch them play around. Okay, here we go. First team hook. Got an Oliver 77 and a Farmall 350. And this is a Father Son team uh, pulling here. You really got to watch each other. You want to maintain the same speed. You want to stay side by side so you're pulling even. And then uh, when one guy is pushing the clutch in, you want to be pushing it in as well. You don't push it in. At the same time, you're going to go backwards. The whole thing will pivot. Okay, you saw how the Farmall jumped back. As an example of the Farmall put the clutch in before the Oliver did. And because of that, it made the Farmall roll backwards. So you gotta be ready, paying attention. He didn't do any harm, but something bad could happen if uh, the other doesn't stop. Anyway, that team just went 163 feet. Okay, we got that little Ferguson again uh, from yesterday. He's on the 3,000 pound, three mile an hour class on the black sled. I'm having a hard time that sled kind of sits down in a low spot, the wheels of the sled. It's kind of hard for them to, the little trackers to get rolling from that point. So the sled operator's working and they're gonna try and see if they can get him out of that hole and uh, get him going. There you go. Okay, yeah, so these orange stones right here, the standard of the three mile an hour speed limit. If the horn blows after that, the DQ. stopped at 169 feet. Okay, new team on the sleds, different weight class. Must be like, uh, I don't know, I think they're both around 8,000 pounds, so 16,000 pound class. We've got a Massey Ferguson 97 diesel and a Farmo 806. <laughs> 806 diesel.
and that team just went 271 feet. So they're not competing with the Farmall 350 or the Oliver 77. This is a different weight class. So anyway, I don't know if they got any more coming. It looks like there might be a couple down there waiting their turn. Okay, I think uh, the next pair is competing with that Massey 97 and the Farmall 806. And just to clarify, that Massey 97 diesel, no turbo. That's natural. That's 504 cubic inches of just raw torque. The Farmall 806 has been converted to run a turbo. So if you kind of notice that going down the track, the Farmall 806 is making more power than that 504 cubic inch Moline. It's actually a Moline engine underneath it, Massey sheet metal. But, uh, the Farmall wasn't making any smoke and the Ferguson was and until they got down farther track then the Farmall started to work and started to blow some smoke and they did a real night real nice even hook so now we're gonna pull against Big White it's a Farmall uh, 856 and then uh, 1256 uh, in black sheet metal over there on the far side and this is a uh, brother-in-law sister-in-law type deal family affair driving they both put, put the clutch in at the same time and they went 281 feet okay we had a little delay in the action on the black sled 3,000 pound class because Bobby is driving this little farm I'll be in was on that black 456 we just saw so she had to hurry up drive back and hop on and get up. turned her steering wheel so the wheels wouldn't land on the clock. <laughs> nice bit of driving. She gets stopped at 198 feet. we got another team pull going on. We've got a Farmall 300 and a Super MTA. I believe these are uh, brother-in-laws. No weight, weight class. I think they're both like 5,000 pounds, so it's 10,000 pound class. Uh, they go 185 feet. Okay, I just heard from the announcer that uh, this is 2,500 pound class on the black sled, but their sign, as you can see beneath the reader boards, is 3,000 pounds. So. Run 
runs out of power at 204 feet. All right, back behind me, they got a forklift. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but they're uh, picking up that spreader bar that the team pulling was using. Uh, so now we're gonna move into the 5,000 pound, three mile an hour class. And uh, hey, we're gonna see Rayanne again. Okay, so little Farmall C, uh, he climbed his first puller's rights of his weight class, so he gets to rehook. He has to let him know right away if he's gonna do it so he can uh, pull now or at the end of the class. But he can't wait halfway through the class or into the class until, hey, I wanna re pull. Everybody passed me, so anyway, first puller in the class. He didn't like it, he's doing it. one is null and void. Second one is good for 204 feet. Okay, we got the Oliver 77 back pulling single. He's in 5,000 pound three mile an hour class. Then on the black sled we got the farm owner Alice Chalmers CA called Bitty Bitty. That's my brother Eric out there pulling. Again, this is her first weekend of Poland. Yesterday is her first day. Today will be her second day. We'll see how she does. She at least needs to be 192. Well, at least take first place temporarily. So she said she doesn't need me anymore. Sad dad. Your kids don't need you anymore. It's a good feeling, but it means you did something right. But at the same time, you know, you're not sure if they've got it all. Well, she's comfortable enough, and I, I trust her. I think she's got it. Anyway, let's see how she does. Not my old age is so slow. It's like paint watch. It's like watching paint dry. The second coat meaning you can paint it watch it dry repaint it again and watch it dry on the second coat the thing is slow 2.2 miles an hour is all the faster it goes Remember, she's got to get past 192 to take first place but that oliver's hard to beat oh she's in trouble Holy cow, she only went 190 or 135 feet. 135. So, uh, she's nice and calm. She, knows, she, she looks like she knows what she's doing. So, uh, I don't know. Like I mentioned, I need, I need to do some changing on the tire situation, which you've seen my videos. I've got tires last year, but never got the rims for it so anyway black sled sign says 3,000 pounds four miles an hour again I'm not sure so a nice farm all BN coming up
so I just learned the guy on the little Formal BM, he's used to steam tractors, not gas tractors. Now he's driven track other tractors with a hydrostat transmission, but never with a clutch. So that's the first time driving a stick shift tractor at a tractor pull. Same time, same day. All right, uh, blue sled, Formal 350. out at 176 feet. Hey, here's a fun fact. The guy driving this Alice, he built the house that me and my family live in, but he built it in 1976. stopped at 181 feet so I'm thinking I need to make a change to Rand's weight as her front end seemed to be pretty stuck to the ground I want a little bit of lift it was close but not quite so I'm gonna head down there and uh, get to Alice get my hat because the sun's about to come out and uh, see if we get her a better chance in her next class Hey, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, it's probably running long enough. Um, we're here, what, today's August 17th, and I'm finally getting around to video editing this part of the video for the spring pull. Um, got a beautiful sunset right there above the barn. Um, although we are expecting some heavy rains, heavy winds, and uh, some thunder and lightning uh, this evening. So hopefully it doesn't get too bad, but a lot of us could use rain, some of us don't need it, but I could use it, so I'll hope for it. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.